Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are simply going to install this performance KNN Cold Air Intake into the Cayman S. It's a simple installation process, so follow me to see how it's done. If this is the first time you stop by the channel, make sure that you subscribe and also check other videos that I have regarding this specific Cayman or the E46 M3. I also have previous videos from E36 M3 that I used to have, F80 M3 that I used to have, Mini Cooper that I also used to have, and the 435 uh, BMW that I also used to have in the past. Now, well, today, as the title says, we are installing this KNN air filter into the came in right here now there is no specific reason why i decided to use this it's just that these ones are you know washable they are performance and it's really always better to have this compared to the little paper cone filter that the car come with now this one is made from KNN. and i'm pretty sure there are other manufacturers who makes this type of filter i just you know selected this one because it's cheap pretty much and KNN is a reputable brand that makes great product now in order for you to install it you have to open this area right here because the intake are literally located in here and in here now the first step is to remove this cover second step to remove that cover right there third step to remove this and then fourth remove this carpet that will open everything up here and then we are going to be able to access the filters to go ahead and swap them with the KNN now if you watch some of my previous video where i installed the gts i'm going to link it up there you will see that to remove this part right here is pretty simple they have this grab handle right here where you can just simply put your hand and literally pull it just like that it's that simple on this side they also have the same grab you literally put and pull and that's it now to remove this plastic cover right here you can lift a little bit here and start pulling up right here now i need two hands to do this so i'm going to put my camera down to do that really quick just like i mentioned last time i can't stress enough that whenever you see that this is pointing like that it should have one of these little cover just reaching the inside here and you will definitely find the missing cover like this one and make sure you also place it this one there's one stuck here make sure that you also place it so always check to see that it comes out with all of the covers so now you just simply put it in the safe location the next step now is to remove this piece right here it's as simple as simply lifting this up like this as you can see and then there are tabs that it's going to detach from so you simply lift that and now slide it literally out of the car by doing so and place it in a safe place now because this is very long i'm going to put it here on the ground just right here now finally the last piece is to literally remove the carpet now the carpet is stained in shape you simply remove it make sure that you keep this tab right here and then reinsert it into that right there because i think it's come from there so if you have missing things like that make sure they always put it where they belong so now again like i said you simply remove the carpeting if i'm doing this with one hand you can easily do that with two hands just like that carpet is out and then you can also put it on the safe location this is my safe location <laughs> As always, whenever I'm filming, there's always a neighbor that is cutting the grass and that's really upsetting me. And I've tried to really change even days that I film, but somehow there's always someone that is cutting the grass. So I've closed my garage and hopefully you can still have um, a lot of light here and you can also hear me without hearing the noise on the background. Now, this is what you have after you remove everything. Now, on the left side, this is already the filter, but on the right side here, you can see that we have the DME. Now, to remove the DME, we are going to use a 10 millimeter to remove one, two, three, and four bolt. Now, you don't have to unhook this, so once you remove that, you can simply move the DME onto the side, and then 
what you're going to see is simply a filter like this one which is obviously the filter now the screw here to remove the filter is a t25 torx that's why i have this one right here so i can find the t25 so let's go ahead and remove the one two three four ten millimeter you know bolt now that you remove the first screw i place the dme right here on the side as you can see there's this little uh, foam thing here you can also remove that and kind of put that somewhere now you have uh, exposed here with simply the other side of the intake so this is the right side so if you want to know again how the intake operate remember you have this side vent so it's sucking air from here then going on the inside and gets filtered by the filter on the intake here before it goes to the engine right here that's literally how it works now so what you want to do now is find a t25 remove this you know torques right here and also remove it on this side right here that's what i'm going to do next it's almost time to remove now you can see on this side everything is clear but on this side you have this pipe coming from the oil uh, reservoir we're pretty much oil filler and it, it's kind of like blocking so what we want to do is literally put your hands in this little tab right here this tab right here you literally put your hand and pull it down now if you recently did an oil service you might have a little bit of oil residue down there so it's good to also have a little towel here just in case if you know oil drips so that it doesn't damage or doesn't go into any of these cables here and you know later on creates all type of issues i mean this is a Porsche, all right we don't want any nonsense so what we do is you pinch this and you simply pull down ah uh, only if i can do that with my limited space all right there you go so as you can see here there's really not a breezy you see a little bit of oil coming up down there so maybe i should just go ahead and place that inside so that it just kind of protects it against any of these uh, cables there. and now this thing we can just leave it hanging like that to remove the filter assembly literally what you have to do is locate the two tabs here pull them towards each other and then pull pretty hard and then that's it the filter is going to come out so let's do that and take it out if we want to go ahead and inspect the inside you can see literally that that is the inside see a bunch of dirt here i'm going to see if i can maybe wipe some of that and actually you see there's a leaf that i have in there and on that end i also have a few leaves i'm going to try to clean the inside just to kind of help me myself right these are the filter assembly right here you can see so now there's a t25 in there i hope you can find that right here so also make sure you remove one on the right side and also one right in there on the left side right in there so make sure i also remove that that's what i'm going to do here on this side and then after you do that you will be able to remove the actual filter right here so i'm going to do that on both and show you what's next in comparison this is the canon filter right here and this is the factory filter right here as you can see this is made out of like i think some kind of paper and in this one i'm not sure if it was changed ever during the lifetime of this car this car has 40k uh, miles and this is literally how the canon feels now if we have to compare in size this one is definitely shorter the canon i mean than the factory one now to go ahead and mount this this is pretty much what you do you remove the plastic and use the provided screw which are actually phillips in this head compared to the t20 that are right here for the factory and literally just mount it you know in these two holes and we won't be using the factory screws anymore so what i'm going to do is just keep this on the side this one came with these phillips as i mentioned so this is what you have to use when you are reinstalling everything now i'm going to mount these two back onto here and then show you the process to pretty much mount everything back to, into the car once you mount everything together this is kind of how it's going to look like so now what you do is you just simply look at this tab right here it goes into this tab right here and on the bottom also so let's actually go ahead and remove that thing right there simply align make sure the tab go over and once you find that it goes you simply push you should hear two click 
on one for the bottom tab here and one for that top tab so you push one click there you go and a second click and now you can see that even on the bottom here these are aligned you can also now go place this thing back here all right now take this t20 put one right here and put the second one right there that's what i'm gonna do next once those screws are mounted now it's pretty much you have to put back this little foam thing that was located here it was in there somehow and once you find the location there you go i hope that's how it was that's how it was so now you go ahead and place back the dme back in there you know sliding it in there first then in, on the top here and putting back all these you know these ones are the one that goes on the top and this is the one for the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead and slide that really quick and then bolt everything the next step is to place back the carpeted you see the side that has the long thing goes on the left and the side that has the short goes on to the right right there as you can see so once you have the carpet normally what you do you place back that top cover in here and then after you put the cover you put this piece here this piece here and then that i'm not going to do that right now because i have a, ne a next job that i'm going to do so watch my next video to see the next job that i'm going to do but literally i'm going to open pull this so that i can see the engine because i have an additional job that i'm going to do right now so stay tuned into my next video to see what i'm going to do next on the engine here now once you have everything mounted go ahead and test drive the car you know just to kind of see if you can hear any difference or see any different in terms of performance you shouldn't really gain that much hp maybe one or two horsepower but this um, filter cool air intake is pretty pretty cheap so get you one place it in there is fairly simple to do that and enjoy it so on this note thank you for watching if you like this video make sure that you subscribe make sure you like and also drop in a comment to see if canon is like a brand of filters that you probably use on your car or if you don't like this or what other brand would you recommend for the cayman now again thank you for watching see you on the next video bye bye